it's it's hard. I mean, tilt doesn't necessarily mean getting mad. It just means playing off your game as an emotional reaction to to what's going on, um, usually getting dumpstered. But we're going to get into it. Hopefully, uh, we don't see a dumpster. I want to see a good, clean dumpster fight. I want to see Kadoran responding to us, the commentators, like, why did you bring up old shit? Va <laughs> I haven't played Vavis <laughs> in three Vavis years. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I think it's... I think Vavis is so good, dude. Vavis, so shout outs. <laughs> shout outs, Vavis. But let's, uh, let's go. So yeah, there's a range here in which, like, the, you know, turnips make things uh, pretty annoying. But it's like what we see. Mm -hmm. I think as the levels start to increase, it's like the turnips either go away completely or they they increase in in like you know exponentially. Mm -hmm. And that mid range of amount of turnips doesn't quite end up happening, and it almost gets the uh, dunk there. Yeah, it's funny you guys were talking yeah. about the matchup. I was wondering to myself if Peach didn't have turnip, would this matchup still be winnable? I feel like it might not be. Even if uh, it would be, it would be so much harder. It'd be so much harder. Turnips <laughs> are really what, what what makes the matchup. Ooh, like that. Yeah, it's really what makes the matchup like work because Peach can pull turnips and Mark is really bad at dealing with turnips. Like honestly, by far the worst out of any like decent character. I have a question for you, Leffen. You can only use turnips in either neutral or edge guarding. What do you take if you're Peaches? Like in this matchup, you go for neutral. In most mm -hmm. matchups, you go for edge guarding. I would Ooh. say. Oh, oh, I see. Oh my god, eats a eats a huge down smash. Yeah, don't hold down on that move. Yeah, I'm really interested to see in, in Kandoran specifically's adaptation, because it does seem like he has a... I, I think beating Umarth is no easy task, and though Kandoran is a plub slayer, at the end of the day, he's still a, he's still a Marth. And he's mm. green. Oh! Ooh. He Ouch. had to he had to tech jump there instead of just regular tech, because it looked mm -hmm. like he was not able to uh, tech that second part of the down smash. Probably could have just let himself get hit by it as well, and probably mm. would have just lived. Ooh, oh, that, that would have been sick. <laughs> what a sick air dodge by Keizu, though. Nice, getting back on, and we're back in the neutral. Wow, he kind of gets away with just the back air, right? I yeah. feel like it was very telegraphed, and he kind of ate it anyway. Ooh. I think he... Oh, okay. Yeah, he usually gets that... Uh, Peach goes for that when you think they're going to run and grab or run in down tilt, and I feel like Kodoran's just like... He's go he's playing at weird ranges basically. He's going from very far away into to like a straight approach and not making it very ambiguous and comes is just very ready. Yeah. What is I guess the, your bread and butter neutral opener in this matchup at, you know, let's say low percent is more. Are you looking for just a grab is it or is it more like near spacing till a good yeah, percent? Yeah, I, I think grab is the big thing and honestly, the problem is is that Marth doesn't really have anything that's completely safe. It's like the one thing you have is like fadeaway aerials, um, mm -hmm. obviously, and that works against every character with Marth. But the thing is, and this is something I realized, that if, if Kodora maybe struggles with this matchup, it could be because you see him do this style where he does like in place short hops, fadeaway, fadeaway, like holding sta center stage. And this works beautifully against a character like Sheik. But against Peach with that dash attack, that just because it reached a little bit higher, it's really hard to not get dash attacked if you're jumping a lot in neutral. Mm. I, I, there are times I get hit by Peach Dash Attack, and I'm like, it, it's like this, huh? This is how this um. is how God wants to treat me. Oh, and the turn Which up, yeah. rolls out. Down through here. Yeah, is she go? Oh, I guess it's one, six, one. Never mind. I had the percent mixed up. <laughs> oh, it catches it! That's not going to help you. That's why Levin yeah. said uh, Marth deals with the turn so badly. Part of the reason is his throw is actually so slow for no reason. <laughs> Body Killer still works, though. Thorn got a bit of a bit of mountain to climb usually as it goes against Peach in a in a matchup of this weight class. Yeah, he would have to land an early Ken combo to find a low percent kill here. Anything else is gonna have to be honest and earnest. Is that a stitch? I think it's a bit concealed. It looks like it. Um, but he gets oh, all this off a dash attack. What an absolutely insane string. And then the stitch goes away as well. And a good run up shield by Keizu. Just grabbing that forward air. Ooh. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Just textbook. Yeah, quick turnaround yep. wave dash by Peach there. Okay, it's textbook, nice. but you almost never see a Peach go for the wave dash turnaround. And uh, it's always been something I, I've been a little bit critical of. Like, they always float, and they usually get clipped right there by the upbeat. So really happy mm. to see Keizu go for that, like, super smooth, fast full wave dash uh, ledge grab. That is a good point. I mean, do, do you can you just raw beat out the up B if you time your, like, nair correctly, if you're floating at the edge? <laughs> Or, or do you always uh, train and you just kind of like live that through? Usually not, uh, if the Marth spaces it well enough. But it depends a lot on what they're going for. Like what kind of, if they're trying to land a stage and such. 
Well done by Casey though, and he uh, he takes the first mm -hmm. game. Now we're on FD, and he's taking some percent. Yeah, this is all tipper forward airs from Kondoran. Totally unlocked the crouch cancel range, and is now just batting him away. <laughs> yeah, he's looking like a. Uh, this is Zane. where this is where Kondoran shines. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh. Pivot grabs the jab, and then gets the pivot tipper. A nut. Looking like the CPUs that we were watching earlier. Level nine CPU <laughs> vanilla. Big opening. 69%. Look at him dodge oh, the turn up. Just so nice, but it doesn't work. You know, he's edge guarding is so on point. Oh, he catches it again! Stop! Yeah, but now he can't do ground moves with that in his hand. He has to get rid of it. <laughs> that's crazy. I think he's picking it up when he's trying to down tilt. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think he's oh, trying he to get it. Gets another stitch. Yeah, it's an A button press for sure. It does have to suck that you are, you know, you catch the projectile, you do something that's, you know, mildly, mildly tough, and then you're in a bad position. Right. You know. Yeah. It's an interesting uh, play here where you can do aerials without catching it, but you can't do nair and you can't do tilts and mm -hmm. jab, obviously. That's dead right there. He lost his jump, got naired off the stage. Yeah, this is looking really Rep dominant by Casey after that first stock. Yeah, it was zero to death. Kadoran took that zero to death and is now down three to two. So I'm, I'm a little interested. One would imagine, I guess, that Marth gets more out of the platforms against Peach, or I'm just totally wrong, but Kadoran chooses FD here. Why is that? Uh, helps Peach land when she gets juggles. Um, or rather, oh, it stops sense. her from landing on the platforms. Okay. I guess that, that's true, because that first Marth is just good on FD, too. Yeah. Pretty, pretty yeah. wide spacing between these guys. They're, you know, they're whiffing grabs, spot dodging, and the, the length between them is like two and a half marvs anyway. Ooh, didn't get that one. Oh! oh reverse forward air here. Big reverse fairy. Oh, he can hold down there to get the other hit. Yeah, it can be a little tricky. Way. Whenever Kadorn is... take extra damage. Oh, yeah. K Kadorn recovering here just looks unsure. It doesn't look like his choices are really well lapped out against Peach. Mm -hmm. I like that. That was a really juicy waveland from uh, from coming down there and got a grab, but nothing off of it because this percent just seems like a, a difficult difficult time. Wow, Keizu, run up shield working yet again here. Oh, Keizu misses that down throw dash. Like it's actually guaranteed, but it is very tight. Careful off stage, Ghidorah. This has not worked out for you lately, and it doesn't work out this time either. Oh. There we go. Wow. Okay. wow, still got it. Even with the slow stand up, that's enough to punish Ghidorah in there. This is all Keizu this set, man. Beach. Oh, wow. wow. The timing is insane. Ghidorah get bullied right now. Yeah. He's just in the corner. This that is looking like... Just... Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It was insane. <laughs> I mean, this looked like him against uh, S-Fat, you know, last week. But it's just a, 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 you know, instead of a fox, it's a woman in a dress. Red, big grab here, maybe? Guess the ledge trap. Okay. Damn, this is rough. I feel like Kadorn's lost every exchange where Peach is above him. Oh, oh no. no! That could have been a highlight right there. Nice. <laughs> Adaptation. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess he's <laughs> deleting it from the map. Oh, so gets the partial sick. this time. Oh no, Kadorn looking oh, a no. little lost in the neutral here. Down the dash attack combo. Yeah. Both get there this time. Good DI at least, but. <gasps> what is that barrage? Oh, is oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Keizu doing whatever he pleases right now. Ooh, that's oh, that spacing just getting right under Marth's double forward air. Keizu looking like an he's expert right now. Yeah, he's he's whiff punishing him really, really well. Straight up just outfitting him in neutral. Yeah, air dodge too. Cross up air dodge with the down smash. Absolutely beautiful. Dude, he did that earlier in the match too. He air dodged actually right at Kadoran, dodged a forward air with it, kind of like a triangle jump, and then just let the down smash <laughs> rip once he hit the ground. Kadoran also a little thirsty too for the death back. Just like you were saying earlier, looking lost in the neutral, you know. It, it it's like a couple oh. couple timing brick rhythms off, but he's letting this this big move rip that is getting him huge punishes. Yeah, and I think um honestly it feels like Kadoran is very reliant on short up Nair, and short Marv short up Nair is like auto cancel is honestly maybe the best like aerial in neutral in the game. Like it's <laughs> Honestly, auto neutral against a lot of characters, like mm -hmm. even Cheek, even Fox, Falco, like just incredibly, incredibly strong. But against Peach, you both if you do too much, you let her pull turnips. And even if not, she does have that best dash attack at just out prioritizing it. So like it's not nearly as good, and I feel like he's turning into it a bit too often. 
Yeah, it seems like a, a, a sort of a fundamental oh. get bonk two times. I've never seen a turnip have that knockback. Holy shit. He, he's trying to apply the general Marth to someone who, can, who is not a general Marth opponent. Mm -hmm. It feels like, at least. Oh. But he gets that one, and we like that. Those low percent tippers are keeping him alive in these games. Here comes the, here comes the garden. But yeah, it and seems this is why Armada actually liked FD because mm -hmm. he gets more space to pull turnips. He actually did not like playing as PP Music King on uh, uh, Yoshi's and Fountain, I remember him saying. Oh. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go back into the archives, you can watch M2K's Marth versus. Uh, versus Peach, Armada's Peach. I think there's a couple of VODs of those. Um, I, guess, mm -hmm. I think Eamon was talking about it, and he was like, yeah, this sucks. Like, this looks hard. Mm -hmm. Nice, I like the forward tilt. Oh, man, mm -hmm. he just guesses wrong. He hit low, and Casey well, went high. Mm -hmm. Kadoran never seems to be wanting to get into a squab situation or hold forward too often. He wants to keep Peach at range at all times, and I feel like he really needs to abuse some of the close range distances as well. Throw in more cross-up nares, or just get behind her more often. Yeah, like he feels less willing to scrap, oh, wow. and yeah. Keizu is scrapping like crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, is scrapping against Peach is obviously really hard, but he does need to do a better job of it. Yeah, it's just a bit too much short hopping in place for my tastes. But good on Keizu mm -hmm. for reading a lot of these neutral interactions correctly and landing dash attacks. Kind of keeping Kadoran on his toes here. Again. You can really see that he's like, he's dash dancing, back and forth, back and forth, and then he does the approach. And Keizu is always ready for the approach. Finally makes it up and gets the grab. What does he get of it? Whoa! Oh, missed down smash from Keizu there. Yeah, Keizu's just in his, you know, he's, he understands exactly what he's going for. His rhythm is is identical, um, and that that's what you gotta do. There's finally a grab. Punishes a, a bear. But this is pretty rough. Yeah, he doesn't have the, the proper flow charts from the throws, and... You know, Peach always has a mix-up, but I don't think uh, Kadoran might be is really playing the mix-up correctly, and a lot of times he's trying to F smash straight after the um, throw. Mm -hmm. Body killer? But not, not really. I think I didn't tip her. No. Uh, this is somewhere where the numbers the game the numbers game could benefit Kadoran here if he just knew specifically when that up tilt will kill. Mm -hmm. I, l Ooh. I do like the fair into roll, but Keizu again just really, really ready. Ooh. Oh, holy nice. shit. That's a never rare. That. Yeah, you never see that from Peach. Rare edge guard. I <laughs> love Keizu. Yeah. Up, up two games, two stock, two, two clean stocks, and he gets floaty kill and was like, God damn it. He, he's like, you know, that's that's a high, winner. High standards, Slime. <laughs> high standards. A lot of footsies here. Gets in. Oh, this crowd mm. cancel. Oh say no! It. Nope. You can't go for that, man. Esper isn't really like even high reward, honestly, against Peach, mm -hmm. uh, unless she's like 17, where it would barely kill. I like the weight. No down tilt either. He just kind of, uh, like you said, a lot of short hops in place. Mm -hmm. um. Finds the run for <laughs> grab finally again. But good DI by Keizu getting out of Ken combo. Over extends. Let's Keizu get mid stage back. Doran's got good percent this stock though. I Casey read that run up shield there. Oh, no. I do feel like we see we're seeing some nerves here from Condoran and he mentioned last time that he was like uh Oh, oh no a freebie. Wow. Yeah, the Condoran wasn't really used to the the setting and like the you know, building mm -hmm. up a match for an entire week and stuff like that. That that stuff can get to you. Um and he didn't really get into it until versus Pluff, and I feel like we s might see a little bit of that here. He needs the bracket Maybe. run, you know? He needs mm -hmm. to slay some shitters first, he needs to sweat a little yeah, bit most in round people, two. I mean, never play a tournament where you play a good opponent your first match of the day, and uh, Very that's rare. what Kadorn is doing right now. I, I guess that is the summit experience in general, oh. right? Mm -hmm. You know, all your summit matches, if you, you know, come to one, you're gonna you're gonna be playing someone hard. Casey just bullying Casey him right now all over. over this Marth right now, but Kadorn finds a grab! Just... Over the down tilt, that's okay. Re grabs him. Again, Keizu's getting the edge every time. Peach doesn't like being on the edge, but he seems to be getting out of this situation all the time. Didn't say dash dance. We're dash dancing from Kadora, and he whips a fair oh, and gets snared off stage. Looks like this might be it. No turn up no. downstairs, though. Great DI from Kadora, but Keizu oh, finds a tournament winner. One more chance here. There oh, it is. It's over. 3 0. Oh. Ryota Kondoran, the untiltable, the Zen God, 
and uh, continues his 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 journey against Peach. You know, the the greats of the game are Mata, mm -hmm. Kalamazoo, Babes. <laughs> These guys are the people that Kadoran can't seem to crack. Squid's laughing. Why, his ass why off. does Squid laugh at Bob? He's <laughs> one of the greatest Peaches. Slime, did did they did the people forget about Peach? Is it the new generation of player? Can they get really far just by owning fast fallers? You or? know, I remember last SCL there were just no Peaches, and I was like, this kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. I kind of yeah. miss her. I miss Peach for sure. And uh, and I yeah, think, yeah, Go she's ahead. really good. But uh, it's been you know one of the reasons why we haven't seen Peach is because a lot of the med school. And the law was popping off early, oh, uh, true, early dude. quarantine, right? He's like so beating good. Beating HBox and doing all of that stuff. Um, and Triff obviously stuck here in Europe with me. And uh, you know, Triff has been beating everyone but me here in Europe as well. So I definitely don't think Peach is like suddenly disappeared just because Armada doesn't play anymore. Um, and I mean, you know, that was also Kadoran, but you know, I'm gonna stand by my word. I don't think that matchup is as bad as you might think it is. The results don't show it. Look, everyone. A clean 3 Everybody's a. Everybody's. You know, they got the worst of it. I'm a Falcon player. I got the. Wor I'm. A, I was a Falco player. Obviously, I got the worst of it. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks they have the worst time, and that's okay, cause that's melee. Um, but yeah, I think that in general with Peach, there's also this element. This is the new era, right? Slippy. A lot of people are getting into it. What's the first character you pick on the CSS? You know how many Falcos mm -hmm. we see on Slippy on Ranked? It's everywhere, right? right? Peach is just this kind of off-brand character to what Melee is represented nowadays online. And I think that shows up in, one, like, like Leffen said, the great Peach is kind of taking breaks or stuck or whatever. And two, you know, Falco being the cooler person to choose yeah. for the new kids. People do favor the technical characters a bit more, mm -hmm. that's for sure. It's flashy, it's cool, but I mean, we just need a, we need the Yappy of Peach. Who's that? To show these kids they're out there they are definitely out there slime yeah there's a lot of tech you can do with peach that people still don't do or have just started doing and i think lot is you know lot is technical in some ways but not really the the play style that really leverages it super hard like not super aggressive um mm -hmm. i think it's something that i've always thought about um ever since armada quit one of the big things that people start doing is more defensive um play in terms of like CCing and ASDIing, S SD, uh, um, doing stuff like that, while also approaching like run forward, crouch cancel mm -hmm. was mm. not a thing back in the day, and I think that's something Peach could do so well. We still don't really see people do that much, and I feel like even against a character like Marth, like run forward, CC, dash attack, like I don't really see that option ever, and I wonder how good it is. Like maybe I'm wrong, but I really feel like that type of play, like a player that really leverages that dash attack range and if you respect my dash attack range i'm gonna run for it and i'm gonna cc mm -hmm. and if you hit me i'm gonna hit you but otherwise i'm just gonna take this extra space and kind of like play this like more forward moving tank whereas amada was more of a like obviously he did approach but he was more of a like i'm gonna hang out here by the kind of uh, end of the stage and when you approach i'm gonna you know meet you in the middle but or i'm gonna wave it back to the very edge and down smash you yeah. um it's gonna be interesting to see uh peach's development for sure